A live look from our storm team tower cam in Summerton. It's already at the freezing mark there. It's clear skies. We've got 33 in Gadsden, 34 in Asheville, and 37 now in Birmingham. For tonight, those temperatures will remain close to the freezing mark through midnight. And with some of the cloud cover early, that's what's going to keep those temperatures fairly similar between now and 3 a.m. But as the sky clears out, as we near morning time tomorrow, temperatures will be falling into the upper 20s. That's where most spots will bottom out overnight tonight. Some of our colder locations like Coleman at 25, Birmingham will be at 28. Keep in mind, our coldest this morning was 25, although that's still 5 degrees above our record cold of 20 here in Birmingham. Gadsden's record... 16 degrees in, on this date, and that was only set back in 2014. 27 degrees in Anniston, 26 in Talladega tomorrow. Here's what it looks like through your day. It still is going to be a bit of a chilly day tomorrow. Winds will be light. High temperatures are going to only for a little while reach into the low 50s between about 1 to 3 p.m. And then as soon as that sun begins to set shortly before 5 p.m., those temperatures will be dropping. Another cold front moves in late Saturday night. It's a dry front, but it will allow those temperatures to dip a bit more on Sunday, lower to mid 20s as you wake up Sunday morning. Grab the coats as you're heading off to any of those church services on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, a crisp day out there. Upper 40s in Tuscaloosa, 46 in Jasper, 43 in Coleman, 48 in Alabaster. Look at the lights at Bryant Denny right now. We are seeing a clear sky and they are preparing for their big game tomorrow. Austin P. 50. 48 for our kickoff 51 by fourth quarter. We will see a mix of sun and clouds tomorrow. Another big matchup, Samford taking on Mercer, both big ranked teams. Temperatures at around 50 for that game. Auburn fans, some cloud cover, but no rain. Mid 50s to start the game and in the sunshine, it won't feel too bad. But as the sun sets, it will get cool quickly. UAB hits the road. They're playing at LSU. Big matchup there at Death Valley. Mid 40s could see a stray shower. There's some wet weather developing in Louisiana right now. For us, a possible shower Tuesday and then again through your Thanksgiving holiday. Let's kind of iron that out. A few sprinkles possible early Tuesday morning through afternoon. Nothing major. And then some cloud cover lingers through midweek. And then on Thanksgiving Day, it's dry during the daylight hours, followed by some evening storms. But that rain should clear out early in the day on Friday. And then here's a preview. A very cold iron bowl is likely. And that's a look at your storm team seven day forecast.